Hello, Colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on the latest developing stories. We start with Ilkay Gundogan as the Barcelona new signing was left disappointed by club shortly after his arrival. Why is it so? What happened? We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about left-back Alejandro Barde. Of course, we are going to be discussing on two reasons why Alejandro Barde's offensive contributions have reduced for Barcelona. We are also going to be discussing more on that report. So as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Ilkay Gundogan's post-match reaction after Barcelona's 2-1 defeat at the hands of arch-rivals Real Madrid resulted in an outburst within the media and fans alike. Former Manchester City midfielder Ilkay Gundogan was quite brutal in his assessment and if a report from sport is to be believed, this is not the first time that the 33-year-old has voiced his discontent about the club and its operations. Shortly after arriving in Barcelona in the summer, Gundogan and his family experienced a noticeable lack of support from the club, according to sport. The club was quite insistent on signing him, therefore, it was all the more surprising for the player to find himself receiving minimal attention during his initial days in Barcelona. The midfielder was moving to a new city in a new environment and it, is, it was more daunting for him since he was traveling with a newborn. Initially, he anticipated receiving some much-needed logistical support during his initial weeks in Barcelona. These assistance would have included assistance in finding a suitable place to live, arranging transportation, managing various administrative tasks, and ensuring the well-being of his family. So let's talk about the fact that there was little help from the club but apologies are plenty. Regrettably, Gundogan and his spouse experienced a sense of isolation during his transitional period, which led them to voice their concerns with the club about areas they believed could have been enhanced. The Barcelona administration responded with an apology for the circumstances. Now, it must be noted that Gundogan was coming from a Manchester City team renowned not only for its sporting excellence, but also for its commitment to assisting players and their families with various personal matters. And being aware that Barca is more than a club, he expected a bit more support during his early days after signing. In Barcelona's defense, during the period of his transition, the club was dealing with player registrations and other issues and since his problem lasted longer than expected, Ilkay Gundogan had to experience such troubles. Eventually, within just a few days, he could sense that becoming a player for Barca catapulted him into an entirely new realm of media attention and public adoration. Yet, simultaneously, he unearthed an aspect of the club that failed to win him over. Yokai Gundogan, of course, has not been a happy man these past few days. Of course, he's lashing out at, at, the, at the Barca dressing room. Publicly in the media, immediately after the uh, classical defeat on Saturday, had had gone have gone so viral, you know, and of course we now talking about this report, um, revealing certain aspects of discontent within 
um, the players camp when he joined Barca last summer, all because of the anger that the media have received or the Barca dressing room have received from Ilkay Gundogan, who spoke so harshly after the game, which I still believe he was he had every right to say what he said, because the manner of the defeat on Saturday was so crazy. And of course, we expect Ilkay Gundogan, who has been a captain for one of the best clubs in the world, if, of course, the best club last season by far, Manchester City, where he knows the way a dressing room should work if actually they want to go out there and succeed. Of course, under the leadership of none other than Pep Guardiola, we expect Ilkay Gundogan to have already cultivated that kind of mindset of winning, winning and winning. Of course, he saw the mood after the defeat against Real Madrid on Saturday. He never saw that, that, that kind of emotions running out of the Barca team. Like that kind of emotions where there's a lot of bitterness, there's a lot of anger, there's that hunger to, to revenge. He did not see that. And he came out publicly and lashed out his teammates saying that there's no way Barca can succeed. There's no way we can win trophies if the man of the dressing room is like that throughout the season. Because after the 2-1 defeat, which was a comeback defeat, you know, where we were 1-0 up, courtesy of Gundogan's goal. And of course, second half was a pure disaster. We saw the fact that Gundogan was not happy at all. And he, he made his mind known to the media about the way the dressing room was. And of course, now this report from Sport coming out with the revelation that Gundogan has not been treated so well when he came as a new Barca player. Some few months back, you know, his family, the transitional period is never easy for most players when they when they leave from one country to another. And of course, coupled with the fact that <laughs> the team is not playing so well recently and the way they take the defeat has not been the way Gundogan has been used to it. Of course, we know Gundogan is a leader by nature. He led Man City to the, the, the famous treble last season. And of course, coming out to a Barca team where there's, we are in a transitional period, of course, he's not happy to see the way things are being handled in the Dredgen room. Then on to the final story of discussion. Journalist Ferran Corias has analysed in sport that Bade's offensive contribution for Barca this season has declined so much so that the young fullback has only assisted a solitary goal, which scored the which was scored by Sergio Roberto during the 2-2 draw against Granada in early October. However, that only contributed to one thing that a certain job Cancelo is is now shouldering the offensive duties as a result of which Bade is limited to his half. Now, Bade is without a doubt a vital member of Xavi's team. This season, Bade has featured in 13 out of 14 matches Barca have played and his only absence was due to an injury. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.